Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Homages are tricky. Any indie developer can ape a game from their childhoods and sell their products on Steam. It takes real talent to realize what made those games back in the day so memorable. It's not just about doing the same thing, it's about capturing the same kind of spirit. This is Snatcher, an homage to 80s sci-fi movies. This was Hideo Kojima's first product after the first Metal Gear, and it was his first product to actually come out in the West without being horribly butchered in the process. It didn't sell too well, especially being released for an expensive add-on with a, uh, <laughs> less than stellar game library. But still, it had charm, and Kojima's influence on it is undeniable. Auctions for this game naturally run in the hundreds, even for used copies. Not a whole lot of people have played it, and getting a legal copy of it is all but impossible. Thus, it's difficult to create an homage to Snatcher based on nostalgia alone. And that's where Read Only Memories comes in. Right from the intro, Read Only Memories feels like a game out of time. The soundtrack and art style are pure 90s, and the voiceover at the beginning is practically ripped straight from Snatcher's intro. Relationship Organizational Managers, or ROMs for short, are the commonplace companion and tool of any modern person. This game would really feel at home on a Sega CD. And yet, it's still grounded in enough modern sensibilities to make it worth playing to players who don't know what a Sega CD is. The game's developer, Midboss, was spun off from Gamer X, which is spelled thusly, which is a convention oriented towards LGBTQ gamer culture. And while Read Only Memory certainly embraces that culture, it doesn't overwhelm the experience. It takes place in 2064, and given our culture today, it only makes sense that the society of Neo San Francisco is more sexually diverse. It doesn't primarily focus on sexuality, but it gives LGBTQ characters a chance to shine. Rather, the story of Read Only Memories focuses more on typical cyberpunk tropes like transhumanism and augmentation and robotics. The anti-technology protest group is even named the Human Revolution, in case you didn't get the Deus Ex illusion there. Like Snatcher, it borrows heavily from existing cyberpunk cliches, but it doesn't feel like it's stealing or ripping off from anything. Let's go back to that word I used to open the review. Homage. A good homage takes what made an existing work excellent and builds upon it while ditching the ideas that are outdated. Shovel Knight was a perfect example. It was a platformer built straight on the mechanics of its predecessors. But rather than borrowing everything, it used many modern sensibilities, like not having lives or dropping a chunk of money on death, as well as a surprisingly competent story. It made the 2D platforming experience even better than its predecessors. Snatcher did this when it came out, paying homage to movies like Blade Runner and The Terminator while also doing its own thing, which is a very Kojima thing to do. Read Only Memories also does the same thing. It takes the Snatcher mechanics and updates the story and gameplay a little to make it more palatable to modern audiences. The cheesy and cliched characters of Snatcher are replaced with characters with more open sexual identities, which makes them more complex while still not feeling heavy-handed. The tricky puzzles are replaced with easier ones to let the multifaceted story shine through, which would have made it feel more like a Telltale game if not for the classic art style. It feels... inclusive, which is a good term to use considering you had a hand in developing the game. But it's not just in the sense of more inclusive characters with diverse sexualities. It's cheaper, it's easier to get into, and it's more welcoming than Snatcher is or could ever have been. Read Only Memories is a great game in its own right, making it a pretty effective homage in my book. So, to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives, this game's for you.